acknowledge that we are hosted on the lands of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe. the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples. Our home and native land True patriot love In all of us command With glowing hearts we see thee rise The true north strong and free from far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Guardians, caregivers, uh, superintendent, superintendent of education, Georgie, principal Guy, vice principal Gardens, and of course, our graduating class. It is a pleasure for me to be here with you tonight, in person, and at such a wonderful school. I can see many smiling faces amongst our students. 
and I could see many smiling, happy and proud faces in the audience. Your families are very proud of you. Your teachers are proud of you. And I think we're all very proud of you tonight. Before this ceremony, I had a chance to speak to some of your teachers. Uh, and everyone was super excited and happy for you on this, your graduation day. This is a day that you can all be very proud of. I'm here to acknowledge your graduation on behalf of the Board of Trustees and also uh, as the chair of the board. It's a very great pleasure to wish you all the best in the future. Safety and security, and most importantly, that you continue to achieve great things. So, I would like to say with great enthusiasm, and if I can get everyone to say it with me, after three, I'm gonna say congratulations. One, two, three, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you for inviting me tonight, and good luck. We, we will now be watching a video of Mr. Ali Asafi, who is our MP for Willowdale. Heartiest congratulations to the Drury graduating class of 2022. Today is a great day of achievement, and I wanted to join your friends and family in congratulating you for all your hard work and what awaits you in the future. I'm confident that you will continue to shine bright. So continued success and all the best in the next chapter of your lives. Let me first say how grateful it is I am to be here. Uh, Councillor Fillion extends his regrets. He really wishes he could be here. But he sends me in his stead, in part because of a connection that I have to this school, uh, which is I've known a number of students who've come through this school, and I know how important graduation is. It's a big day. And I really enjoyed participating in this day with a young friend of mine a number of years ago. And the joy that he expressed at reaching this day and was able to share with the community members here at Drury was extraordinarily special. So I wanted to bring congratulations from Councillor Fillion. And I also wanted to, uh, a little bit later, present a special award. And that award is gonna be given to a special member of your community. Um, but that award is about community involvement. And if ever I've known a school community that is involved in one another's lives and supports and cares for one another, this is the exemplary school community for that. So I just wanted to bring hearty congratulations to you all. You've done a lot of extraordinary work and you deserve this day. Well done, congratulations. I'd like to introduce our superintendent of education, Mr. Georgie, who will say a few words. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of our director, Ms. Colleen Russell Rawlings, I'd like to bring greetings from our board uh, and our director to Drury Secondary School. Ms. Russell Rawlings did attend Drury back in the winter time in January of this year, uh, and we were delighted to walk through the school and to spend some time with all the students, staff, and faculty here at Drury. And it left such a lasting impression on myself, but also our director, Ms. Colleen Russell Rawlings, and she sends her regrets this evening. I wanted to extend my congratulations to the families, primarily to our parents, support, um, family, our extended family, our, our personal support workers, who all really deserve a big round of applause for getting to the point where we are today. Can we please give them a round of applause? <laughs> 
evenings such as this I know come with some mixed emotions. We are certainly excited because we are graduating, but we also know that we've come to a point where we need to move on to our next stage in life, and that can be a little anxious and nervous for some of us, but we are excited to see you move through this next stage. I need to really extend a very warm thank you to the staff of this school. Every time I visited Drury Secondary School, the staff have always greeted not only me, but you as students with a smile, with warm energy, and a love that only parents can give their children, but are given to you each and every day. One of the things that strikes me about Drury Secondary School, particularly during the pandemic, when schools were closed, many of our staff at Drury were here to support not only you, but our families, so that our students could continue coming to school each and every day. So thank you to that staff for being here. And we know that that would not be possible if it's not for the leadership team at our school. So proud of Mr. Dai and Mr. Gardenas for doing the job that they do. Thank you very much for leading the school. And with that in mind, I just want to wish all of the students a huge congratulations. So proud to see you here today. I, I do need to say a special thank you to Nega, who I have met many, many, many years ago, before she even came to Drury. So happy to see her here today and making it through this final chapter in her academic life. Congratulations to all the students at Drury. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Georgie. And yes, I truly echo the last two years have been incredibly challenging. And I am so proud of all of you, the families and the students who persevered during this time. And we never thought this day would come where we're back in person again, but here we are. And I know that all of us are so thrilled to be together again. And hopefully we came out a little bit stronger from the pandemic. So moving on to the awards, the very first award of the evening is the Principal's Award. And uh, Mr. Dye will be presenting the plaque. The Principal's Award honors a student with exemplary leadership skills and who has a high involvement in all school activities. This year, the 2022 recipient is Alexandra Wheeler. Alex's enthusiastic participation in school activities has demonstrated leadership in three distinct areas. Throughout her years at Drury, Alex has shown a keen interest in the arts, which has earned her numerous accolades from all of her teachers. And she is also a very well-rounded student who eagerly participates in sports, cooking, extracurricular, in addition, she has demonstrated a sustained level of diverse contributions over the course of her years at Drury, which in turn has led to much personal growth through her involvement in fundraising activities, leadership training, volunteerism, and job training. So Mr. Dye, if you could please present the Principal's Award to Alex Wheeler, and a huge congratulations to Alex. Very well deserved. Ms. Maroney will now be presenting the next award. This, is, this award is called the Robert Greenville Irwin Citizenship Award. This honors a graduating student who is an exemplary citizen at school and the community. This student is an active participant in daily school life. He has volunteered his time over the past several years to help students in other classrooms. He has worked with staff in beautifying the school to assist our educational workers with the displays around the school and when the job demands some fun. Conlon is our school's mascot. I would like to ask Conlon Shaw Eisman to please come forward and accept the Robert Greenville Irwin Citizenship Award for extraordinary citizenship and exhibiting exemplary work in volunteerism. Congratulations, Conlon. I would now like to call up Mr. Jack Racanelli. My name is Jack. 
Congratulations, Fernando. I would not, I now like to call up Miss Gill, who will be presenting the Employability Skills Award. Present Employability Skills Award uh, presented to Matthew Fu. And uh, the Employability Skills Award goes to a student who has shown initiative, independence, and effort at the school and the community called placements through the school career. <laughs> Congratulations, Matthew. Next, Ms. Raman will be presenting the Rupi Jeji Award. And this award is for his co-op students, Mr. Jeji, hope for a strong worth of ethic, perseverance, and initiative. Victor Ola would have been one of Mr. Jeji's favorite students. Victor came to Drury a year before the pandemic struck, and despite all the odds he faced, Victor has shown much strength and determination to overcome life's obstacles that we have all become admirers of him. Victor is very gregacious and never without his engaging smile or his can-do-it spirit. Recently, Victor completed the Spiel Job coaching program and his coaches have nothing but positive comments to say. Victor has shown excellent work ethic as he always strives to do his best with each task that he is assigned. He has also showed a good customer service and is the most polite and respectful young man you could ever ask for. Victor is very deserving of this award and we are so proud of him. Congratulations. I would now like to call upon our school chair council, uh, Miss June Coleman, and she will be presenting the Drury School Letters. Good evening. Winners of the school letters have shown exemplary personal growth throughout their high school years. These students have faced tremendous challenges in learning to work and have done an outstanding job, whether it's job coaching in the resource center or at their job placements. Recipients of the school letters have grown in confidence and ability. They receive this award tonight because they have persevered, worked hard, and have become important members of our school community. This year's recipients are Helen Chai, Nega Mortazavi, and Ryan Villa Nueva. Congratulations.
congratulations, students, and thank you, Mrs. Coleman. I would now like to call upon Mr. Stephen Gardanis, our vice principal, who will be doing our next award. Good evening. This, this award is presented to a student who, who, through active participation in school activities, maintained traditions of Drury Secondary School. This individual is a very inquisitive young man who is friendly to all people he encounters. He has a keen sense of his, historical facts, which he is happy to share with whoever he is, is interested in. This participant in many, he participated in many school events over the years at Drury and has a unique presence in our school and will be sorely missed. Congratulations, Malcolm Coleman. I would now like to call upon Jesse James as well as Mr. McDonald who will be presenting our next award for the evening. Uh, good evening everyone and congratulations uh, to all award winners. I'm so proud of all of you. Uh, as far as the John Fillion Award, this recipient makes considerable effort to improve his community and the school environment that he, he works and goes to school in every day. He makes the school and the larger community a better place by helping to organize events like school assemblies, staff meetings, and our school garden. He's also a peacemaker among his peers. Alan is a very positive, supportive force in the school who doesn't like the spotlight, but it's, con but it's consensus there to support and encourage all those around him. This award is funded by the city and comes with a hundred dollar check. Friends, it's my pleasure to welcome the winner of the 2022 John Fillion Award, Mr. Alan Graham. Mr. David Curry, who will be presenting our next award. Good evening. Congratulations, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. The Jim McQueen Excellence in Education Award recognizes students in the TDSB for their involvement and service to their school and community life. This student has been nominated in the category of unique and distinguished effort and citizenship. In terms of school and community involvement, this student has actively participated on a variety of sports teams, including being the captain of the Challenger Baseball for four years running. The student supervised the school's weekly Friday bingo uh, in the auditorium right in here. For years, the student has actively part of the school's morning announcement team. The student not only works closely with his teachers in the areas of hospitality and green technology, but has a business on the side, dog walking and recycling. The student is a leader among his peers 
for uplifting the school spirit as Drury mascot and showing willingness to participate. This student has demonstrated unique and distinguished effort and an in individual by overcoming astonishing personal obstacles. He is a protector, a sports enthusiast, passionate, extremely kind, and deserves the very best in life. May I please present this to Conlon. schools in recognition of the contribution of Gerald L. Phillips, former chair of the Metropolitan Toronto School Board. This award was established to acknowledge the achievement of senior students during their final year in the developmental disability program within special education, who have shown maximum development towards independence accordingly to individual capabilities and potential. This award goes to John Sheeran as the primary recipient and Aisha Shed as the runner-up. Please come forward. To accept the award. Ms. Kellowan, our challenger coach, to the stage to say a few words and present the awards for Athlete of the Year. Good evening, everyone. The Athlete Award is bestowed upon a student who demonstrates personal growth in athletic ability and sportsmanship in a variety of sporting events. Tonight's recipient has participated in many school intramurals and sports teams and has shown a deep love of sports. The recipient is Conlan.
Congratulations, Conlin. I would now like to call upon uh, Ms. Persaud, who will be presenting the Cooperative Education Award. Good evening, everyone. The Cooperative Education Award goes to the co-op student who has shown perseverance, dedication, and commitment to their placement during the school year. They demonstrate a positive attitude, community participation, and a good spirit. Our recipient of the award tonight has excelled in all his experiential learning opportunities. He has helped the community by delivering newspapers, He's helped cook many meals in the Learning Center. He's helped with recycling around the school, waters plants in the garden, and he's helped set up the auditorium for our graduation tonight. It is my pleasure to present this award tonight to Alan Graham. Congratulations, Alan. Ms. Maroney, who will be presenting the Guidance Award. Thank you so much. All right. The Guidance Award is given to a student who has taken initiative in the transition planning for future pathways. For example, college, employment, volunteer, and work life. This year's recipient has, ex has exemplified all of these. He has got accepted into college. He certainly has worked in his project search uh, placement, and he has done a lot to help the, our school community. This year's recipient of the Guidance Award is Keon Luke. Congratulations, Keon. We've missed seeing you this year. I would now like to call up Miss Wisdom, who will be presenting the Hospitality Award. Good evening, everyone. The Hospitality Program recognizes students who are productive, hardworking, and enjoys the environment. This year, the program has recognized a graduating student who has demonstrated such qualities. While learning about foods, kitchen safety, knife skills, and more, this student showed a special interest in food preparation. He was often happy to learn and ready to work. Acknowledging his good work motivated him to perform tasks really well. His friendly, respectful, and enthusiastic attitude towards learning made it easy to teach and interact with him. It is my pleasure to present the Hospitality Award to no other than Ryan Villanova. Congratulations, and now of course it is my honor to be presenting the Music Award, um, and I really miss the days when we were performing at Queen's Park and live assemblies, but this young lady certainly earned her stripes by being involved in every single award. So this award is given to a student who has demonstrated outstanding dedication to the music program. This includes being a member of the choir, drumming ensemble, and having exceptional talent, both as a performer, a soloist, as well as an ensemble member. This student who receives the award has also shown significant growth throughout her years at Drury. Alex exemplifies all of these qualities of a fine musician. She has a natural talent for music. 
She has improved her skills by immersing herself in all musical activities within the school and community. Not only has she been a soloist, she's also been an excellent role model for all of her fellow choir members and classmates. She has shown tremendous growth as a musician and has made great strides in her musical abilities. She will be sorely missed and she's been one very special young lady that I've had the honor and pleasure of working with. So Alex Wheeler, congratulations. I would now like to um, call upon Miss Audrey McLaren, who will be handing out the Drury Spirit Awards. So, esteemed guests, members of audience, staff, students, and friends, the following students will be receiving the Drury Spirit Award. The Drury Spirit Award is given to students who have demonstrated positive school spirit in all of their daily activities. The first recipient is Menachem Blastin. Menachem. He's wonderful, he is a very expressive student and he always brings a smile to every class. He follows simple instructions well and he will silently advocate for himself. He likes working on puzzles, coloring, singing songs about pizza and he has definitely showed great maturation over his years at Drury. Congratulations on all of your progress and all of your accomplishments. Um, you have an amazing attitude and you're always so cooperative with everyone. Congratulations, Menachem. for participation. This award is going to Aiden Coleman. Aiden has worked so very hard walking independently and I see him every day on the ramps. He holds on to the rails. He gets stronger every day. He always actively participates in class and follows instructions very well. He has confidence and his abilities have improved immensely. He shows empathy for others, often asking if other people are okay. He lets us know his feelings and he expresses his needs to us. Congratulations on all of your progress and your accomplishments. to present the award to this young man who I get the joy of seeing every single morning in music class. And this award for cooperation goes to Dennis Goffman. Dennis is a very happy and energetic young man who always enjoys the companies of his peers and he willingly participates in all of the activities. He is sensitive, he is considerate towards others, and he's always happy to try new experiences, and he is always happiest when he's amongst his peers. Congratulations, Dennis. Okay, and unfortunately, uh, Booty Mahmood is, was not available to come this evening, but he would have received the award for enthusiasm and he will get it upon his return. The next award that we have for persistence goes to Jacob Wu. And I remember Jacob so well, and I was so happy to hear he's here this evening. Um, so, Jacob is not here? <laughs> Okay, sorry, I, my, my, 
my hopes were brought up and now they're brought down, but that's okay. I'm sure he will get his award then when he uh, comes back to the school. Okay, so now the time has come to introduce our valedictorian for 2022. Valedictorians are chosen to represent their graduating class. They are students who have demonstrated strong leadership and employability skills. They have taken initiative both inside and outside of the school. They are respectful of others, responsible, strong speakers, and a positive role model in our community and school. This year, Drury has nominated Conlon Shaw Eisman to be our valedictorian for the 2022 school year. Please help me welcome Conlon to the stage. students, families, and friends, I am really proud to be the jury's valedictorian for 2022. <laughs> jury is a special place because friends have made along the way. Jury feels like a second home to me. It feels like family. Jury is where I can be myself with teaching staff and my friends. At Jury, I join play hockey, badminton, baseball, track and field, and swimming. My first season I played and I won the Stanley Cup with my team. My moment I always remember in badminton I won two silver medals and one gold. <laughs> we have really fun field trips over the years at Jury. I love go going to the Rogers Center for the Blue Jays Foundation Care. I I enjoyed Rebley's Aquarium along with going to Ontario Science Centre. These are the memories I will never forget. I really enjoy working with the school store and being the school store manager. We fundraised a lot of money to help in the school. I love that I made a lot of friends here at Jury. Every teacher and student that make me feel happy and I have been supported greenly. I will miss everyone a lot. Join as many clubs as you can and make as many friends because everyone is really nice. Don't be afraid to ask for help because the teachers will always be there for you. I will end with a quote from Dr. Seuss. You are off to the great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. seven years I only had the pleasure of teaching him this year and he was nothing but amazing and was a part of all of the virtual assemblies so Con Conlon very well deserved I would now like to call up Dr. Dye he is he is our principal of Drury Secondary School and he is going to give his special message to the graduating class of 2022 good evening graduates it is an honor for me to celebrate with you tonight. The significance of your accomplishments is evident from the cast of important individuals that have come to be a part of this special occasion. I would like to acknowledge our trustee and chair of the board of the TDSB, Alexander Brown. Superintendent Dominic Georgie, 
our school council chair, Ms. Coleman, uh, representative of the city councilor, Jesse Owen, members of the platform party, parents, guardians, relatives, friends, members of staff. We're all gathered here because you know, we recognize that graduation from secondary school is a major achievement. Graduates, get my notes out of the dark here. This is better. Graduates. You've reached a significant milestone. Congratulations. Parents, guardians, relatives, friends, school staff, other TDSP staff, thank you for your amazing support, without which our graduates could not be here today. <laughs> graduates, there's something special about your graduation class. This is the first in-person graduation in three years. In the decades to come, you can tell your children and grandchildren that the year that you graduated from high school was also the year that the COVID-19 pandemic ended. 18 graduates are graduating today. Seven years ago, in September 2015, nine of you began your journey in Drury. The nine are Aiden, Alan, Aisha, Conlon, Jacob, John, Malcolm, Nanakam, and Nago. For seven years, you came to school every day. Alexandra, Dennis, Keon, Matthew, and Ryan arrived in 2016. For six years, you came to school every day. Abdul Rahman started in 2017, better known as Booty, could not be here today, but all staff have observed Booty's, dedica Booty's dedication to school. Ellen, Fernando, and, Vic and Victor arrived in 2018. You too were at school every day for four years. Graduates, nothing could keep you away from school. Neither rain, nor snow, not even a pandemic. Some of you have even showed up on PA days. <laughs> you love us, and we love you. During the dark days of the pandemic, as long as staff were here, you were here. Drury is one of the smallest congregated schools, but during the pandemic, we consistently had the greatest number of students attending. For seven years, Drury was truly a home away from home. But now your secondary school days are over, and another phase in the journey of life is about to start. Maybe there will be no track and field, excursion, newspaper delivery, or games room to motivate you to get out of bed. Maybe the tone that your work supervisor uses will not be the same gentle tone that your teachers use. The school bus Hi. will not be there to take you from home. Hi. In the next phase of your life, your teachers will not be there. You will, be pushed, you will not be pushed or motivated. You will have to be pushed or motivated from another source. You must rapidly learn how to motivate yourself and practice independence that you've learned over the past seven years. Graduation from high school does not mean that you and your families are on your own. I urge you to make use of wheel trends that will pick you up from your home at a time that you determine. Sign up with Easter Seals so that when you attend movies, museum or art galleries, your support person will be admitted free of charge. Make use of the 40% discounted good life 
where you're a support person, but also gain free admission. And get a TTC personal support card that allows anyone who's supporting you <coughs> to travel free of charge. I know that some of you have been admitted to community colleges. Some of you, some of, some of you have jobs lined up, and some of you have other post-21 plans. Maybe you have a passion for cars, passion for building things, passion for art, music, or physical activity. Let that passion motivate you. According to Walt Disney, if you can do it, you can do it. Whatever it takes to get you through the next phase of life, I am confident that each one of you has it in you. It may be a while before some of your dreams come true, but take note of the ancient Chinese proverb, you should not be afraid of going slowly, be only afraid of standing still. Also, remember another saying, it is better that we should err in action rather than completely refuse to perform. Finally, I leave you with the words of W.E.B. Du Bois. There is in this world no such force as the force of a person determined to rise. The world that we live in is a small world. I'll be seeing you around. Until then, best wishes, and I hope that you have a prosperous future. Thank you.
like to call up Matthew Fu. Congratulations, Matthew. Matthew completed his year at Project Search, and we miss seeing his smiling face every day. But we're so happy for the new opportunity. Congratulations, Matthew. I would like to call upon Dennis Goffman, a sweet boy who always brings such a big smile to music every day, always so happy to be at school. I'd like to call up is Mr. Alan Graham. Come on, Dan Allen. So great to see all of the progress Alan has made. We're all very proud of you, Alan. Great job. was also at Project Search this year, so we also didn't get to see his wonderful demeanor and handsome face every day here at Drury, but we're happy to see him tonight, and we're happy for his opportunity. Congratulations. Next, I would like to call up Nega Morza Sibi. I've had the pleasure of working with Nega all seven years. She was in the choir. Luckily, she's in music this year, and she has been amazing. Nega's made excellent progress. Next, I would like to call upon Victor Ola, who is one of our big award winners, not met a more determined and fantastic young man. This is a guy who never gives up on anything. He's a true inspiration to everyone. young lady for her entire seven years and that is Aisha Saeed. The 
girl with the biggest heart and the biggest smile, who always greets everybody as she's saying hello as she comes up onto the stage. Another beautiful soul we're going to miss next year. ceremonies this evening. I would, thank, I would like to thank all of you for coming here tonight to honor our graduates and our wonderful school, Drury Secondary. <laughs> Graduation day is a special day to mark tremendous accomplishment. You could not have come to this day without a lot of hard work. There have been many days when you felt you could not continue and yet you did. The moment when you are called up to the stage to receive your certificates resplendent in your cap and gown is a moment to savor. Every moment of the last seven years has resulted in tonight and you have earned it. So a very big congratulations to every single one of you. Drury graduates, you are now going to come to the risers for a group photo. Afterwards, we are going to head to the atrium and have some refreshments. Graduates, you are able to keep your cap, tassel and your gowns. Finally, I would like to ask the members of the audience to please remain seated while our graduates exit the auditorium and meet us in the atrium and also wait until the platform party leaves the auditorium. Thank you so much to everyone for participating. After all the graduates have completed their photo, please proceed to the atrium. Thank you and good night. of the graduates are getting a nice momentum to remember all of their years at Drury. Next, I would like to call up Aiden Coleman. Congratulations, Aiden.
to call up Matthew Fu. Congratulations, Matthew. Matthew completed his year at Project Search, and we miss seeing his smiling face every day. But we're so happy for the new opportunities. Congratulations, Matthew. I would like to call upon Dennis Goffman, a sweet boy who always brings such a big smile to music every day, always so happy to be at school. I'd like to call up is Mr. Alan Graham. Come on, Dan Allen. So great to see all of the progress Alan has made. We're all very proud of you, Alan. Great job. Is also at Project Search this year, so we also didn't get to see his wonderful demeanor and handsome face every day here at Drury, but we're happy to see him tonight and we're happy for his opportunity. Congratulations. Next, I would like to call up Nega Morza Sibi. I've had the pleasure of working with Nega all seven years. She was in the choir. Luckily, she's in music this year, and she has been amazing. Nega's made excellent progress. Next, I would like to call upon Victor Ola, who is one of our big award winners. And not met a more determined and fantastic young man. This is a guy who never gives up on anything. He's a true inspiration to everyone. with this next young man all seven years. John Sheeran, please come up to accept your award. Another very talented young man with a beautiful voice and an amazing sense of rhythm and musicality. young lady for her entire seven years and that is Aisha Saeed. The 
girl with the biggest heart and the biggest smile, who always greets everybody as she's saying hello as she comes up onto the stage. Another beautiful soul we're going to miss next year. ceremonies this evening. I would, thank, I would like to thank all of you for coming here tonight to honor our graduates and our wonderful school, Drury Secondary. <laughs> Graduation day is a special day to mark tremendous accomplishment. You could not have come to this day without a lot of hard work. There have been many days when you felt you could not continue and yet you did. The moment when you are called up to the stage to receive your certificates resplendent in your cap and gown is a moment to savor. Every moment of the last seven years has resulted in tonight and you have earned it. So a very big congratulations to every single one of you. Drury graduates, you are now going to come to the risers for a group photo. Afterwards, we are going to head to the atrium and have some refreshments. Graduates, you are able to keep your cap, tassel and your gowns. Finally, I would like to ask the members of the audience to please remain seated while our graduates exit the auditorium and meet us in the atrium and also wait until the platform party leaves the auditorium. Thank you so much to everyone for participating. After all the graduates have completed their photo, please proceed to the atrium. Thank you and good night. Test one, two, test one, two. Okay, grad, so congratulations. So what we're gonna do is on the count of three, everybody, if you could hold on to your hats, hold on to your hat. We'll wait till everybody can take it off your head and hold on to it. So take it off and hold on to it. So everybody can hold it just like this, just like that. And at the count of three, we're going to toss it up in the air. Okay, so we're going to have a big countdown from the audience too. So when we hit three, we can throw our hat as high as you can. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Congratulations, Drury Dragons. Congratulations, everyone. So everyone, when you get a moment, you can head up the atrium for some great 
snacks. Congratulations again, Dragon. We're so proud.